hi everyone welcome to my channel welcome to ify space thank you so much for the love so far well today i'll be talking about 15 pros of living in malta 15 reasons why i am so in love with this island of malta my very tiny island of malta <laughs> all right uh, i mean this list is not exhaustive um this whatever i would say is just based on my own experience having lived here for five years so there are a lot more reasons why people would like Malta, but I mean, these are the top 15 for me. So number one reason would be the fact that it is really safe. Malta is a very safe country. Trust me. Like, I mean, coming from Nigeria, I had a lot of negative experiences in terms of safety. So relocating here, and I'd stayed in Dubai for a bit before moving here. But living here, like, it was just a breath of fresh air, even compared to Dubai and Nigeria and even a few other European countries I visited. Like, there's just, for example, like, there have been a couple of times where we we'll just forget to lock the door overnight. The other day, like, the key was even, we even left the key in front of the door. So, and we used to stay on a mesonet. So anyone on the street would actually see that, okay, yes, there's a door, sorry, there's a key at this door. We woke up the next morning and we were thinking the house would have been emptied, but everything was still intact, thankfully. I mean, I'm not saying we should keep forgetting to lock our doors, but that just goes to show how mortar, how safe mortar is, you know. Several times we would send our kids even to the convenience store close by to get stuff. And we'll be really rest assured that yes, I mean, we cannot try this back home in Nigeria, never. <laughs> yeah, so that's number one reason, safety. Second reason will be the fact that the education here is free, completely free of charge if you enroll your child in a state school. And schooling here starts from age three. Even before, like before school, before proper school at age three, child care, like after your maternity leave, for example, you do not have to start worrying so much about where you drop, you keep your children. Like child care, like the child care is free actually if you work full time. It's free. Even though you work part time, there's a way they calculate the hours, so it's completely free from age three. Like I said, it's free up to even beyond secondary school to university. University is free as well. The other day, I was just looking up, you know, course fees and all, and I saw for a course like medicine, as an international student, you'd be paying about twenty three thousand euros per year, but as a local student, it's completely free. Yes, you heard that right. You do not get to pay anything at all. The primary school and secondary students as well. It's free transportation to school, free uh, what's it called? Free books as well. So I mean, the fact that it's free is everything. And even aside that, if you eventually, obviously, after staying in Malta for a while, you become a citizen. So as a as an EU citizen, you can actually school go to school in any other most countries. Most as in, most. European countries and study for free as well as an EU citizen, you know, so that's that's a big one there And then that brings me to my next point, which is like it's a very family friendly environment So that would be the third reason like it's just really like there are a lot of There's a lot in place just to kind of make your life easier as a working mom as a working dad You know, you do not have to feel incapacitated just because you have children for example, they are the child care I talked about, which is completely free. Then even like when you work, and obviously you work like a 9 to 5, regular 9 to 5 job, like your kids can easily go to after school service, which comes at a very reduced cost. I think it's about 86 cents per hour or so. And for example, if you have to close at 5 o'clock, and I think normal school ends around 2 to 30, depending on the school. So you can easily, like your kids can easily just attend schools after school service you know the summer holidays here yeah, last for like three months so and they, they, they have this have summer school for activities for children age 3 to 16 and it's really really low as well I think it costs about 25 euros for the entire three month summer holidays the whole system is just I don't know for me it just encourages you to still pursue your career still work and achieve your own dreams whilst you know raising your children alongside so that's really a plus compared to what i've actually heard you know in other countries and then the fourth reason will be that it's just a very friendly environment here in malta 
like people are just naturally friendly especially the multis like you'll be walking on the street especially when you're with your kids like they'll just want to stop and start having conversations with you like hello how are you where are you from you know that kind of thing like it's really really nice to see like compared to like when we visited other countries within europe like Everybody just minds their business. Nobody has time. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to, you know, but it's just really nice to like smile sometimes, you know, say hello, you know, be very warm. So it's just really warm and people are very generous. Oh my God, like mortar, like people are really generous. Like, for example, if there's some sort of GoFundMe project or someone is in need or trouble or whatever, like you just help people just come through, you know, for the person. And it's really, really beautiful to see like they are cheerful givers like they give a lot like and come through a lot for you it's really really nice to see very warm atmosphere like every time i've traveled and returned like there's always this peace like ah, oh, nice like the environment is just calm warm and all of that yes so the next reason would be the climate yes so as someone who comes from a tropical environment like we do not have very cold winters and all I find Malta's climate very um, cool. I'm sure you must have heard we have like 300 days and I would say even more than 300 days of sunshine in a year. Like we have winters obviously but even during winters like the sun, like you'd see the sun. <laughs> I've been to a couple of countries and I do not even need to stay there for more than one week and I'm like oh my god why is everywhere really gloomy, dull and cold, like really really cold. like. You hardly have any outdoor experience because you are indoors and all. So, I mean, I like the sun in Malta. A lot of people might complain that, oh, my, it might get too hot. But, I mean, for example, this is summer and the weather is really cold. I guess because it rained a couple of days ago. So, the weather is really nice. It's not unbearable during winters. And another reason would be the fact that it is English speaking. I come from Nigeria and we speak like Nigeria. English is our official language there. So... It was just easier to integrate and to you know settle down here because of the fact that it's english it is english speaking i mean they do have their own mortis language which is an official language too but because english is also an official language you get you know most people speak english here you get like wait for every correspondence you get you know it would always be in two versions english and mortis even in stores and everything like it's english everywhere signs and all you know so of course i would like to learn other languages but i just it was easy to just take the easier option <laughs> and stay in malta because it is english speaking yes so i like the fact that it's really accessible as you may know malta is an european country it's in the schengen area so the fact that it's really accessible in two hours three hours you could be in another european country you know and for people like me like i have dreams of like visiting every country in the world like every good country in the world so living within europe especially is like it's an advantage because it makes it easy for me to visit i think there are about 26 countries in the schengen area and then it's even central so like it, it's close to africa and you know other countries or other continents as well so location is really really cool really accessible you know and aside it being accessible like it is cheap yeah <laughs> like you do not there are, sometimes you might even see flights as low as six euros imagine you know to travel to another european country so it's really cool that's a, an advantage as well thank you for watching i'll be posting the remaining pros in the next video